Alright, so I just loaded in. I was in earlier, but my sound wasn't working, so I had to restart. But we're on Rustified Odd uh, Jr. right now. I got all BPs, and I'm going to try to play solo on here today. It's definitely not going to be easy. The map's small. There's like 200 people in here, but uh, we're going to give it a shot. I'm just hoping this works out. I've been trying to solo recently, and it just hasn't, so... I decided to try Wipe Day this time instead of uh, snowballing like I usually do. My sounds are working this time, so that's great. I was thinking about building like E9 up on that hill, but since I'm late now, I don't think I'm going to get it. I'm still going to try for it, but I don't think I'm going to get to it. So, the solo video that you guys have been waiting for is finally here. It's been almost two years since my last one, and after how this wipe went, I can see a ton more of these coming in the future. Since this is my first solo video in a while, I wanted to go for a like goal of 15,000 likes. You guys have destroyed my like goals before, so I don't think that it'll be a problem. Thank you guys once again for the recent support, now let's get into the video. I really need to stop and farm. I guess I'll hit this tree. This guy hitting a tree over here, I thought. Oh, he's on a horse. No, he's just gonna hop back on the horse. No. No! No way I hit that! Oh my god. I don't even know how I hit that, okay. Please be loaded, dude. Okay, not bad. And he had tools, okay. Definitely not bad. Need to get out of here. Holy, dude, what a snipe. I saw another guy up here. How's he not dead? Oh, he's just hitting me. And bro's got pumpkins for days. I don't even have a base design. Probably just gonna toss down the usual 2 by one Need to farm, I hope they aren't following me. I think I'm good. That's a good amount, I don't need a TC right away. But if it's buildable up here, this will be perfect, and it looks like it is. I don't even want to run Arctic, I'm just here for water and the ferry terminal. Dude, this is the perfect spot. Might just make a wooden one by one for now. Oh my god, right up on this rock. This is perfect. I'm gonna make it right here. Okay, boom. And of course I don't have enough for a PC. Guys, gotta be done. Oh, 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 oh. I downed him, but not his buddy. No way they just run, dude. Oh hey, at least I fought him off. Holy. I need to go get a little bit of wood. Now that I had my base down in a perfect spot, I went out and farmed some wood for a TC. Then I ran my way over towards Ferry Terminal, where I farmed a ton of barrels, got a green key card, and recycled. Once I got back to base, I was able to make a tier 1 and a crossbow. I wanted to get a blue key card, but there was absolutely no monuments around me to get one. 
So, my plan was to run the road down the outpost, but on my way there, my plans change. This is such a far run, man. There's no way I make it across the map and back. I also probably should have made a flashlight for the crossy. Oh, what was he doing? Please, man, I really need that torch. I don't know where it went. He has a buddy. That's where I saw another one right at this pole. Oh my god. That is a scary weapon, dude. Okay, I don't know how I dumped him, but sure. Kinda wanna run home. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna run home. What in the world? There's absolutely no point in me continuing. Everybody was just stacked there for no reason. Sweet. Actually, a good amount of stuff back. I'll make a flashlight too, dude. I cannot see a thing. Right after I depoted the loot, I ran the road right back down the outpost and got a blue key card. I ended up getting absolutely stacked off of this and probably should have went home, but I ended up getting greedy and running the water treatment to get the red. Looks pretty empty in there from up here, but uh, there could definitely be somebody at the recycler. I really should depot, but I just don't feel like running up and down those hills for 20 minutes again. Ooh. This is unlooted? Not bad, not bad. So that should be a good sign. Hopefully, uh, red card is not looted either. My god, there's a guy up there, no way. What in the world, dude? I think I can see to him from in here. Where he's butt naked. <laughs> How is he even in here? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. I have to get out of here. I can't even, like, grab anything. I just drop him. Dude, this angle is disgusting. Ow, how does he even see me there? They got the gang up there, holy. Unless Tommy's not with them, which would be huge. I have an idea, I hope this works. I could just get into the trenches, dude. Woo! Okay, as long as I'm out of that room, dude. Oh my god, I was in there for like 20 minutes. I can't really go home because those guys are right on the way home. I don't know what to do. I'm just kind of stuck down here for now. Huge thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring this video. They have recently sent me their performance package 4.0 and it has absolutely everything you need to take your hygiene to the next level. First, it comes with their new Lawnmower 4.0, which has ceramic blades to help prevent nicks and cuts. 
Plus, it's waterproof and cordless, so you can use it in the shower, and it has LED lights on it, so you can navigate blind spots with ease. It also comes with the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver. When you're playing Rust for hours and hours every day, you can use both of these to keep you feeling fresh. Lastly, it comes with their new Weed Whacker 4.0, which is good for trimming your nose and ears. For a limited time, when you purchase their performance package, you will get not one, but two free gifts, which are their travel bag and anti-chafing boxer briefs that are designed to keep your high friction areas cool. If you guys are interested in trying this out for yourself, head over to manscaped.com today and use my code disfigure for 20% off your order and free shipping. Once again, thank you Manscaped for sponsoring this video. I think right here might be best spot, honestly. Nobody's gonna come down here, right? No one's gonna come down here. There's no reason for somebody to go down there. I still see it on the ground, no way nobody saw it. Rolling out the water again. Three, I think. I mean, they're not that deep if that's all of them, but there's definitely got to be more, especially with the size of their base. So, right after I got the supply signal back, I ran over and got my body from water and somehow got it all the way back to base. I waited until it was nighttime to go recycle at the ferry terminal, but I ran into a group of Tommy guys who ended up taking everything. Since I wanted to make a tier 2, I went back out and did another blue card run at water, and once I got back to base, I had enough scrap to make it. Then, I went out on a node run so I could get my furnaces smelted. I knew my neighbors down the hill had a wooden door on their base, so I made a molotov and waited for them to leave to see if I could get any loot from raiding their front door. Looks like they're going to do some grubbing. Refiner. Imagine this is all the way in, dude. Just imagine. Please hurry. It's definitely a garage door. No? Oh my god. Dude, I need to get out of here. <sighs> Let me out of here. Dude, if I could like scavenge together four satchels. I don't know if satchels learned. Oh my god, dude. Why is it? Well, they were so loaded in that box. I can't imagine what their core is like. Nice, dude. They were loaded for no reason. 600 scrap, too. Oh my god. I needed that. And three Molotovs. After I managed to get all of the loot back, I added Honeycomb onto my base since I knew if they found it, I'd probably get raided. I had a few Molotovs left over, so I ran into the snow when something ended up happening that I wasn't expecting. Not even looking for... I mean, I guess that 2x1, but it's definitely expanded by now. I just want to do a... Oh, a Molotov raid. Yeah, that guy's only got a bow. And he was farming. Where's that dude going? He's probably stacked up on there. I'm gonna door camp him. I swear it looked like he had a SAR. No way he let me in, dude! Oh my god. There's absolutely nothing in here, but... Hey, at least I got a, uh... Molotov to break TC. Ooh, that's a tier 3. It's actually pretty loaded. Ah, oh, 
I don't know what to do here. I don't really have anything to pickaxe out with, so they'd have to let me out. Once I had the inside secure, I ended up killing one of them in the front door. Then I respawned at my base so I could come back and seal off the front door from the outside. I didn't have the explosives to blow off the door as of now, but I did keep this base in mind for later. At this point, I was able to craft up a SAR and call in my airdrop. I ended up getting an M39 and two satchels which were perfect to raid the base I went deep on. So I crafted up the two missing satchels and headed over to raid back in. I moved what I could back to base, but I ended up having to go back for the rest, which wouldn't be as easy as the first time. Do be a hazzy man running to the left over here. I think he's solo. Maybe he has a gun. I can toss it in this base if he does. Oh, he's raiding. I only saw one, so I'm just gonna send it. It's one. And where are my bullets going? He's dead. Oh my god. We both suck. I don't really like leaving the kitchen here, but I guess I have to. I do not feel like running all the way back to base. What are what's wrong with these boxes? I don't get it. Looks like I'm safe. I hope I'm safe. I'm gonna go grab everything hoping that I'm safe. I ended up grabbing the key cards I had stored in the base to go to large oil rig. There ended up being people on it, but I still tried anyways and ended up dying. After this loss, things seemed to go downhill pretty quickly. A big fight ended up breaking out on my hill where I died a ton of times losing almost every single one of my guns. I took some time to focus on my base and farming and once I was done I heard a base nearby getting raided, so I had to go check it out. Dude they're getting MLRS, no way, what the freak? I gotta go watch this, it's about to go down over here. How are they already MLRSing, dude? That is nuts. I need to like get in there right after the raid and grub because they won't be able to seal. So if I could just get in there right after. I gotta leave something. Kinda sucks too. Why is there an airdrop on my hill? What? Freak all that. I'm going for this airdrop. I'm gonna grab a pumpy and go back for sure, but I don't know if I'm gonna make this airdrop to be honest. Okay, yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> I guess they thought I called it in. Okay. Dude, it's going down right here. Of course, the second I flank around, they come around this side. It's them dipping out, I think. Maybe there's some extra loot to be had. I really hope there is. Thing is crawling with people, holy. Oh, that's my luck. That right there is my luck. Dude, I don't remember where they live. If I remember where they live, I could go camp them. What do I do now? Hold on. I think they're the guys in your mining outpost. I hope they didn't get home yet.
I don't even care about the other dude. <sighs> Got the AK, where is it though? Okay, I got in with this at least. What is wrong with that box, dude? Oh my god, I'm so glad I was right about who it was. I saw him going back, I don't know where he went though. Oh my god, dude, that had me shaking. He should have killed me there. His headshots I landed were huge, though, so... He got nervous. Yes. Four extra guns. Three extra... No, four extra guns. And I think there might be, like, four more in that other base, so... Plus, I freshly crafted AK. Just as quickly as I lost all of my guns, I got them back, and this time I got out with a lot more than what I had before. I needed to get a ton of wood so I could keep my furnaces going, so I went out with a chainsaw and got an inventory of wood. Once I got it all back, I heard someone taking arctic, so I took over a custom to see what I could do. Oh my god, I just outplayed all of them. I think I just lose her. I have to leave now. Oh. oh, that was a pretty good run. I didn't expect to get out with that. Okay. I'm so glad it was those guys that I grabbed too. Dude, jumping up on that roof was disgusting. They didn't expect that at all. At this point, I wanted to do my first big raid. My main target was the guys that I flame raided earlier on in the wipe, since I always saw them leaving their base pretty geared. I wanted to make sure that they were still online, so while the rest of my software was smelting, I went over to check out their base. spotted that kind of suck but of course they just randomly have a naked chilling outside oh. I didn't grab either of the guns man what am I doing They both had shards, freshly crafted. Okay.
I don't know what their plans are when they open the door. They just kind of die every time. Oh, this should be everything. Maybe I'll get a flashlight. Hopefully these guys just have a bunch of farm. Pretty sure that's what they've been doing all day, is just farming. I'm glad they weren't in here either, because I would have been dead to them. There's a lot of components, and TC is stacked. Um, need to get in there. Get out, dude. Yeah, it definitely is not a bad raid. Holy. I'm pretty sure they have boxes under their jump up too. Ooh, a jackhammer, dude. I have one in one of these all day. I mean, the comps is nice. TC is very nice. I can expand base now. They didn't have much software, but... I can always farm more software. I don't really mind. 500 scrap under there, like, they we're definitely farming a lot. I literally just killed them on their roof four minutes ago, maybe, and they're offline already. Well, be some insane farm right under here. That didn't break. Oh, I forgot. It's their oil refiner. I want to get a window floor on and then like bait an offline too. I feel like I made a good amount of enemies today. A very good amount of comps. After getting back with all of the loot from the raid, I focused on adding a window floor just in case someone came to raid. Then, I took a hot air balloon over to Outpost where I bought a minicopter. Once I got back to base, I went AFK for a bit, and when I came back, Heli was out, so I decided to try and take it. I just go over to them, that was so weird. It's definitely stupid that I'm trying to tag this. If I do end up taking it, I'm gonna be a big target. No way, it just comes over to me for no reason. Pretty bad spot to be on it. Oh no. Here comes the best time to look at these good players, man. Twenty deep. Probably just very good at the game. Wow, okay, he can hit me through that, but I cannot hit him a single time. Oh my god, dude. Why do these losers have to pull up 20 deep? Okay, I don't know if that guy's legit. I mean, what in the world was that? He might be, but wow. So yeah, stealing heli from these guys was definitely not worth it since they pulled up pretty deep and took all of the crates. 
I was getting pretty tired at this point and wanted to use up my rockets. So I went out to look for the guy's base that I was fighting all day. I ended up finding a decent sized base that was in the area that they always ran from. So I grabbed all of the rockets I had and went over to raid them. Oh man, I really hope I can get into this base. I just, I need like comps and stuff. I just need to win this. The dude scared me a lot. Just gotta hope the local 80 man doesn't pull up and ruin my day. Got this massive raid base down. Oh, let's try this. Oh my god. I'm gonna hit right here. Okay, I was right. Oh my. This is expensive. I don't know if I can get in there. garage door but there's like a loot man the one time that I somehow forget ladders okay yeah this base is about to be so loaded it's incredible There's gonna be two more garage doors though. Okay. Dang, 1400 scrap. I just gotta hope I can get um enough sulfur to raid it. I mean, that's six more rockets. That's a lot of sulfur. Dude, I just need six rockets. How much explosives is that? It's a lot of GP, man. 3,000 GP, probably like over one half a sulfur. I guess it's not insane, but it's definitely not easy. The rocket launcher here. Go back to base, farm some sulfur, come back, and hopefully get to their main loot. Okay, at least we got this one. So, I needed six more rockets to raid their base. I thought it would be pretty easy to farm sulfur around my area, but it turned out to be the complete opposite. Once again, Heli ended up coming out and the same guys were taking it, so I decided to give it one more try to maybe get some explosives. Why did it come over here? have to be so mad. Dude, they actually have to be so mad about it. Well, it's definitely the cheater who's back. <laughs> I mean, dude, it's every time he just instas. Every single time. This guy is just crazy, I guess.
What? Where am I getting tagged from, dude? Like, this guy is just... He is incredible at this game. You can't see him, but he sees you. I like that they need a kid sitting far with the suppressor. This is just sad. This gameplay is just sad and boring. And they get away with everything because all they do is have 200 extra people with them every time. So yeah, I was pretty upset about losing Heli the second time, so I was really ready to get off. I was able to craft up three rockets to see what was behind their next door. It didn't really have anything at all besides a tier 3 and some sleepers, so I ran back to base to grab some explosives. Then I headed back over hoping for some insane loot. Thought I had two satchels. I don't know if I have enough, I thought I had two satchels. Oh my god. So just nothing to shoot with. No, there's nothing. Okay, it's sealed, but why are they so poor? Maybe I have to go up. I'll check back here though. Please, can their TC at least have something? Nothing crazy. Hmm. Yeah, it's super low HP to go up. I might as well. It's not horrible, but... I definitely expected more since they were destroying everybody today. No loot dropped. Okay, there's a little bit up here, but nothing crazy. Where is everything, dude? I wonder if they live in the cave. They could definitely live in the cave now that I think about it. I didn't realize that. Take everything I really need and then run back and then I'm gonna fly back the rest of the loot. I'd actually probably be smart to just fly the loot back. I have everything I need now, just not sulfur, so hopefully the shop sells every night and then yeah, I can do some more raids tomorrow. Hopefully online. Now that I finally had this raid finished, I was happy to be done for the night. Before I got off, I moved the rest of the raid loot home, then added on a ton of garage doors and upgraded most of the base to sheet metal. Once that was all finished, I got off for the night, not knowing if my base would be there the next day. <clears throat> okay, it's... I've only gotten like 3 hours of sleep, but... I gotta hope I have TC. I hear the furnace is running, so hopefully it's all good. 
We're chilling, it looks like. I thought for sure that the guys who I stole heli from twice would come offline me. Just because they'd be mad, but I guess not. I'm actually surprised nobody even stole my mini. I'm still so tired. I mean, hopefully today I can take heli and actually keep the loot. Do a few more raids and then I kind of want to take cargo once and actually take it. That'd be fun. Especially on here, there's so many groups. I definitely want to do some onelines today because I did two offlines yesterday and that's something that I like never want to do. I just hate offlining people. Surprisingly, I ended up making it through the night. I thought for sure the guys I stole heli from would have raided me, but there was no signs they tried at all. I wanted to start the day off strong, so I grabbed my key cards and flew over to large oil rig. Terrible elite crates. Not the greatest. I think that's all of them. Please give me like an AK off of one of these. This dude is in the floor. Ooh, a C4 off of a scientist. What is that? I'm gonna deep over real quick. Ooh, okay, perfect. Not bad. Cargo or heli has to come out soon, and either one of those is going to be popping. I just gotta wait. And if I can take heli now, I won't get zerged by those losers. So... After getting 2C4 off oil rig, I knew I wanted to do some raids. I had around 20 diesel built up from the previous day, so I went over to Sulphur Quarry, where I set up a base and waited for it to be done. Once it was all back to base, I had a pretty good amount of sulfur. While it was smelting, I ran around the snow to look for a base to raid. Would be one of these corners, I don't know which corner. I think the other one. What's bro doing? I think I fought this guy too. The name looks familiar. Definitely a good base. That's definitely a target. And he's online. Where's he taking this battery to? He lives there too? What? Base is either loaded or he's learning how to make furnaces right now. I think I'm gonna raid this just real quick. Bring over two rockets. A little bit of a run, but. Turn on a lot of furnaces. Okay, make like three or four rockets and bring it over and then raid that. Because whatever he's doing in there, it's a lot of furnaces. Okay, he's probably still in here. I'm just going to raid it. I don't feel like waiting two hours, to be honest. Oh my god, I actually almost just lost it. 
there anything in here? Not really. Oh, there's a... There's literally, like, nothing. Like okay. I don't know what this whole base is about, then. Dude, I could shoot him. I could kill him right now. If that other guy goes for him, I could kill these guys. I killed one of them. <sighs> oh. I guess he would flank their own. Dude, they're so bad. They have instant respawn, so... Like, I killed like four of them and they were already back by the time I could open the door after meeting twice. That was crazy. So now I know they're gonna be a problem if I try to raid these guys. But where do they live? Sadly, their farm base really didn't have much in it, but they had to be setting it up for something. So, after the AK guys cleared out, I respawned in base and brought the rockets over, only to realize that they expanded their base to a point where I didn't have enough. My minicopter ended up getting stolen after I landed it, so I had to run the rockets all the way back to my base. But on the way back, I did notice the base that stole my mini. So, once I put my rockets away, I ran over to their base to check it out. They're out in the mini right now. So I need to sit here, wait till they get close, peek out and hopefully beam them, then steal the mini. I'm gonna bring over enough for one door, just to see. My movement's golden, look at this. Why, why, why? base dude this thing is probably so cheap i just don't have like i, I can't seal if i raided them after i got the raid base secured i respawned in base and grabbed a few rockets then headed back over to raid them they're still not back. It couldn't have been somebody showing their mini because there would have been ladders up. So it has to be the base runners. And they just put the compound up. I just don't know where they're at. Please not, like a ton of garage doors. Perfect. I don't have ladders. I'm dropping, I guess. Oh my god, it's open. PC's locked though. They don't have like any sulfur. Why? Why don't they have any sulfur? Hmm. 
It's not bad at all, but I want sulfur. Holy farm, dude. Somebody is outside. Oh no, I forgot. Where are the base owners at, dude? There they are. Oh my god, they're so bad! No! I died behind the wall. It's Darja again, dude. Who is Darja? Ah, oh, dude, of course the 20 Zergs are there, man. I'm gonna go back and see if I can do anything. Sounds like everything just stopped. Who are these freaks? They always roam suppressor. That's all they do. They're like 20 deep and they roam suppressor. Sadly, yet again, the same Zerg that has been countering everything I did struck again. They ended up sticking around for a while and transferring every last bit of loot out, so that raid was a lost cause. I really wanted to win an online raid, so I ran down my hill to a decent sized base that was there since wipe day. They ended up being inside and opening doors, so I thought it was the perfect target. I got everything ready and made a 2x1 right outside their base, and once it turned daytime I was ready to start the raid. I can finally see. Oh. Please. Okay. They were crawling around in there and they definitely know I'm about to raid them, so. <sighs> Let's get it started. Need to get in here quick enough that the counters don't make it here. Yeah, they don't have peak down still. And they're just hiding. Okay, it's TC. Looks like they moved stuff, dude. No way. They definitely moved the loot. It's secured, but like, they really moved the loot, dude. I'm gonna use up the rockets, of course, but where are they hiding? Taking loot and moving it, dude. Instead of defending it. Oh, that's good. I think he just died to a shoddy trap. That's actually really good. Let's shield off TC. I mean, it's not terrible loot right here, but he definitely moves some loot. He's behind that garage door. I just need enough to get through there. I might have enough. I also have a feeling that he's gonna let this big group in. 
My game lagged when he, they started shooting. Is there a rope in here? Yes. Okay, I can make satchels. Good amount too. Probably not enough though. I love it. Why can I see in there? Okay, it's another garage door. Oh no. He's just gonna keep moving. So that's not the guys countering. Might be the guys I raided that are outside. This is so good. I want to get out there and fight, but I don't want this guy stealing anything. Did he die to a shoddy trap? Where is he? He went up even more, dude. Now he died to the trap trap. Oh, this is good luck box. That's all he brought in here? There's no way there this broke. Oh. oh, okay. That's where he moved it all. Oh my. It's probably at least break even right there. I'm so glad I at least won this, dude. After losing these guys so many times, I was ready to, like, quit. Okay, you can't catch me pickaxing through that. There's just no way I'm gonna sit here and do that. I'm gonna give it a bit to cool down, move this all back to base, make some more boom, and then find one more base to hit, since I have the boom. So, I was finally able to win an online raid. Even though the same guys still came to counter raid, I got in so quickly that they didn't even have a chance to steal it. I really didn't want to lose the loot from this one, so I waited around for a bit till I heard absolutely no gunshots. Then, I took everything back to base. I wanted to do one final raid with whatever I had left, so I ran around my area when I ended up finding the guy's base who I've been fighting all day. I gave it a look and realized that it was nearly impossible to do as a solo. I was out of targets at this point and was almost ready to get off. But that was until I got on my roof and saw a base down the hill from me that caught in a supply drop. So right after it landed, I headed down to give them an online raid. Okay, the airdrops are down. I was AFK, so I have no idea where they're at. I know one was full metal. I don't know what the other one was. Hopefully they don't peek while I'm running up. That could be them taking it. Hmm. I feel like doors are going to be really cheap, but... I'm going to top down. Those are really cheap. Oh. Hmm. No. Oh my god, of course the floor under me breaks out. No way, dude. Can maybe get back. No. Oh, GG's, I guess. Well, it was a good attempt. If the floor didn't break out there, I think I would have probably had him.
So yeah, I did end up losing the final raid, but I was pretty happy with calling it quits there anyways. If you guys made it this far and want to see more solo videos, please consider subscribing and leaving a like so I know you guys enjoyed it. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.